Hello and welcome to Access Paranormal. My name is Jamie Williams. Joining me in the studio as usual is my co-host Jonathan Sullivan. Hello, Jamie. And a little bit of a part-timer who only comes in every two weeks, Lee Arnold. Hello, Jamie. Uh, no, to be honest with you, it's great to see you again, Lee. I wish you could come on every week. I oh, know. And I can get rid of Jonathan. Oh. Um, anyway, tonight's show is a special yeah. one, isn't it? It is. I'm getting yeah. the daggers now on after that. Yeah. Um, yeah, what a great night we're going to have tonight. We've got um, Spirit Medium, David Trainer on. Oh, yeah. yeah. We had a great interview with him, and we also did a, a little bit of a... Um, tour of the building with with them which that's going to be on in the next yes. you know, the next show and what a great night we had with him it was brilliant wasn't it yeah he was such a nice man he wasn't he brilliant to get on with yeah okay. so enthusiastic not like you lee Cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> no he was lee yeah. you'd, you'd have loved it i mean yeah. wish, seriously we wish he'd yeah. have been there with us him he was really enthusiastic and he was very very friendly man oh yeah um, wasn't he? got the greatest of respect to him um yeah, for him um, going round, I mean, some of the stuff he, he brought up was brilliant. Oh, well, no, wasn't it? Because well, it, it was weird because he, he mentioned two people who I knew, yeah, which he David would never ever have known no. that. No, he wouldn't. Um, never. and what, what it was, Lee, is yeah. we were walking around like that, and he was picking up on a Ken, all right, and a Ronnie. Mm. Yeah, my dad's name was Ken, okay. and his brother's name was Ronnie. Wow, and he picked up on that. Yeah. That's the only time I've ever gone. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. Mm-hmm. he could have even found that information out. Wow. Yeah. So I was very, very impressed with him. Um, I loved the the enthusiasm of him. What was he like, Jonathan? Absolutely brilliant. Well, yeah. we, I think it was a bit later on, and we were walking across the hall to go down into the cellar. Yeah. And he just turned around to him and he said, you've been married recently. And it's the second time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were saying about that, wasn't you? Yeah. And I was like, wow. oh. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he, he didn't he know you whatsoever. No, well, I did, well, that's it. I mean, that's not on Facebook or anything, do you know what I no. mean? No. We've also got to give a mention to um, his, his partner. Not partner, partner, but his, his work partner, Barry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really, really nice man. Very quiet. Yeah. Yeah. But he got stuck in as well, you know, did, and that's he? what I liked about him. Yeah, he yeah. was really nice fella. Good. So, you know, hats off to them too. They were yeah. they were lovely people. Brilliant. Um, but yeah, going back to to um, having a little bit of a walk around with um, David David Trainer, um, he was so interesting and what he was picking up on. I know, and, and like, I, I like that. And he done some of his psychic art as well. Yeah, as we yeah. were going round, like. and uh, Lee, if you want to, while oh. you're, yeah, they're, they're on there, they're, they're, just they're on the on shelf. All oh, right, yeah, and uh, he, he do do drawings. So didn't he? He said, this is so and so. And that. Well, if you go and get them now, and you'd see what he yeah. picked up, and you'll you yeah. might see some of the names. Um, yeah, and, and then the, the funny thing was, uh, yeah, no, no, they're they're, they're not all of them. Um, and the funny thing was, as as you know, Jonathan, when we were walking around with him, and he was picking up on stuff, and we went in down into the cellar, didn't we? Yeah. And we went into the boiler room, and as we were in the boiler yeah. room, he um, he was talking to me, and we were looking out out of the boiler room up to the water stairs. Oh yeah. And yeah. something pinched me ear. That's right. It, it, it pinched me ear, but a couple of weeks before, I was coming out of there, and I. I well, it, well you've the had first a time I'd ever things. screamed, and something pulled on me, pulled me there, didn't it? Just yeah. like pulled me jacket. You've had, oh, I mean, I'd say over the past year, you've had quite a few experiences there yeah. by that, but it, it, yeah. just in the boiler room and just outside at the bottom of the stairs as well. Yeah. I've noticed. Yeah, well, do you remember that time yeah. we were both standing yeah. there? I think it's, it's, it's more, than a, more than a few times. I think we were just going. And we just looked in the boiler room, and you turned around to me and said, "Have you just tapped me?" That's right. Yeah. Um, and then I think we've had it where we've just gone down, and we just come like round the corner from the stairs, and something has happened there. Yeah, that's right. Because I thought something had pulled on my coat. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. And you got that pinch on the ear. Yeah, and that was when David Trainer was here. And then and, the week and before I, that, yeah. you actually. You actually jumped, didn't you? I more than jumped. 
and you scream. Yeah, it's the first time I'd ever gone. Yeah, oh! yeah. But I remember. That was when I was I was standing in the doorway of the ballroom. Just room, in the doorway, that yeah. Just about to come out when it happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when we were there with David Trainer, and we were looking up the stairs, and we were filming it on the cameras. Yeah, that's we were, right. Yeah, we were filming it with the camera. Uh-huh. <coughs> Sorry, and there was like a shimmer. Yeah, and it I was showed very, you it, it was like strange, a shimmer. You and Marie it? was looking at it, and it was like a shimmer going up the stairs. Yeah, it was like it was almost like. Um, the only way I can explain it is, it was like heat. You know when you see yeah, heat rising. Heat rising, but it, you could but see like it invis- going like an invisible shadow, yeah. if you like. I don't know. That's the only and way we have explain it. we have got the video footage of that, which will turn up on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So it will. it will. When when we get when we put the um, the stuff on YouTube, that will go alongside the the actual interview. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, David's coming on in about what, twenty minutes, twenty five yeah, minutes. So. Yeah. And yeah. it's a full hour of, of David. We, we, you know, it's the, the David Trainer special. Yeah, and that's why we've is. done it. Yeah. And he fully deserves it. Yeah, it does. It incredible, really does. incredible man. Yeah, um, it was lovely though, wasn't it? Yeah, and he, he's, he's now friends with us, which I mean, we're, yeah. we're privileged, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah really nice. A very heartwarming man. Very kind man. Now, Lee, yeah. you you got the the pictures. What David have, yeah. um, not painted, drew them there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now. The funny thing was, is we were watching him, and he was like, it was like really fast, fast rolling, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. And really that's what fun. he came up with. Yeah. What do you um, think? Has he got the names of the person on it? The, some the have, people. Some yeah. Have got names on. Some yeah. Haven't. Is that Jack? That's Jack. Yeah. yeah. That no, that one. That, yeah, that's Jack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I thought that was the same one. Well, what we'll do for the listeners, we will put these pictures up on on our Facebook page, um, Access yeah. Paranormal Radio yeah. Podcast. Yeah. We will put them up there, and you can have a look for yourselves. And they're, they're quite good stuff. I mean, he's done them so fast, and he, he said yeah. he, he's not an artist or anything like no. that. No. And they're quite quite good pictures, yeah. actually. Yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm still getting over the chest infection. Hopefully, my voice is back. Because I've, I've <coughs> when you listen Hopefully to the Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully it goes all together, eh? Like <laughs> when you listen, to, when you listen to the um, the David Trainer interview in a little bit, you'll, you'll find that my voice is completely different to what it is now. Yeah. Oh God. So I, I apologise before <laughs> then, anyway. So yeah, David Trainer's coming up a little bit later on, and yeah, um, yeah. Lee, that's well worth listening yeah, to. Definitely. He he was really good. Yeah. Um, you know, he told us how he got into it and everything else. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, you'll hear that later on. I won't bore you with it. Um, by telling you because it's it's nice to hear it from the yeah, horse's mouth, yeah, isn't it? Of course. So, um, changing the subject for a little bit. Go Anybody on. watched any YouTube? I ask you this every single week. <laughs> well, every two weeks for you, Lee, but yeah. every week to Jonathan. So let's start with Lee because we might as well get it over and done with. Lee, <laughs> okay. have you watched any YouTube? I haven't. Not this week. Right. Um, I watched a little bit the week before. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a bit of uh, Mind Seat TV. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So I one, love watching that. Yeah, the one where they were in the woods. Yeah. Oh, where they had the um the scream. Yes. That and one. they went into the house first, didn't they? Yeah. And they were upstairs. They went upstairs. How creepy was that upstairs, oh, Lee? God, oh, you wouldn't have caught me there. Tell the listeners what they found. Uh, I just forget now what it was. You forgot. I was falling asleep when I was watching it. Seriously, <laughs> yeah, that's a good advert. Yeah, no, I mean, mind CT, mind CTV to me are brilliant. Yeah, of course. There's other brilliant ones out there as well. Yeah, which we'll name as the Paranormies. Uh, Dark Territory we'll be talking about in a little bit Ooh, because yeah, I spoke yeah. to Sean Kenner yeah. a little bit earlier on. Dark yeah. Arts. Dark Arts. Yep, yeah, been watching them. Fantastic. Yeah. But yeah. sticking with Mind Seed for a, for a, a little bit. Um, yeah. They went up the stairs. Yeah, and they they were reluctant to go up there at first. Anyway, they went up yeah. and they found like weird things hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. They found jars with looked like body parts in it, not human body, but like yeah, weird uh, stuff. Yeah, I remember in there. that one now. And yeah. also, when they were outside, they found like a dead animal. And it, yes, that was it. I mean, we haven't got smelly vision, which I'm glad about. No, but it, they God, said it absolutely. Stung. Stung. And in fact, I think one of them started to um to to be sick. Yeah, didn't he? gagging with me. And while they were up there, they decided to do a little bit of yeah. seeing what they could get. And all of a sudden, I don't you, you've seen it, yeah, 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 yeah. You hear this like really kind of sc- 
Green. Yeah, it's, it's a weird one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Mm. It was but no. you've heard the scream like that, haven't you? Like yeah, um, we we were up in uh, Crank Caverns. Yeah. Oh. We were doing a bit of an invest. And uh, we'd gone down, did what we needed to do right down there. And we were on our way back. And uh, someone pulled my wife's top, like a hoodie at the back, and turned around, nobody there. She said, let's get out of here quick. So we were going up, because you know what it's like yourself, it's quite steep mm. as you're coming back out yeah. of there. Just just for the listeners, Crank Cabins is in Rainford near St. Helens. Yeah. And uh, we heard a, like a blood curdling scream. It was a, it was a woman scream, but there was there's nothing around there for you to. Yeah, it's like the middle of nowhere. Yeah, isn't it's it? yeah, out, it is. out in the yeah. open. So, but yeah, we heard a scream, and it's and that was the same as it's exactly the you same had, as what yeah. Mine seed had. So when you listen to Mind Seed, when you hear that voice, yeah. but the the funny thing is, Lee, I mean, and and Jonathan. He didn't just hear it the once. No, it was a few no, times. No, it was a couple of times. Yeah. Even as they were it, it, like walking away. Walking? Yeah. I'd, have, well, I'd have been like yeah. Linford Christie, I'd have been gone. Yeah. I know, yeah. But you could still hear it in the background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but there was yeah. one stage where they said it, it sounded when they, were, when they were trying to get away from the house when so they came up. It was right behind them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, as if it was so, following yeah. them. I wonder who so. was at the back. So Don't yeah, know. wouldn't have been me. Well, let, let's go on before we go on to the the rest of the YouTube. Lee, you you were talking about the crying cabin situation, yeah. and you were telling us also that um, you were catching shadows and, and yeah. seeing shadows, yeah. and and poor Bill was up at the top. Yeah, Bill, on his own. Yeah, yeah, Bill was petrified. He rung, uh-huh. he rung us up and said like, "Have we done? Like, he's had enough." But we actually got out of there. Like I said, we had to walk up the steep hill. And we got up to the top and we'd like i would say about half a mile away from the cabins yeah but when you look back it's covered around by a big forest so there's a great big forest around it but when we were looking at it you could actually see shadows moving about in between the trees and were they like figures yeah shadow figures yeah yeah, yeah you could see wow. it plain as day yeah, it was really uh, creepy mad. Um, how long were you there for in the, in the caverns? Uh, I'd say we were there for a couple of hours. Yeah, who who was it? You, Leanne, and Bill, James Anthony, James Anthony. Yeah. Just the four of you. Yeah, just the four of us. <laughs> brave. <laughs> yeah. Very brave. I mean, I've been to well, crank caverns, and it's well in the middle of nowhere. You may as well say three of us because Bill stayed up at top. Yeah. So yeah, it was, it was yeah. really creepy, and we're getting stuff actually in the caverns as well. Right. So, wow. Well, yeah, it was good. Yeah, sadly the the. Built a barrier over the, the up, yeah well, they right? filled it in but they've had to leave a gap for the yeah. for the bats which is right right of thing course, to do yeah. as well because yeah. um, although it was a fantastic place and a beautiful place to yeah. go to um, it was in the middle of nowhere and yeah. obviously other things can happen there yeah. but uh, yeah I'm going back to going back onto YouTube and we 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 talked about Man C T V there and they are brilliant yeah, um, they anybody are. who's out there. Go and watch Man City TV. It's highly recommended. Yeah. Now, I've been watching. Um, I've watched this week Dark Arts. Yeah. Um, I've watched a, f- a fella called Go. Um, something with Josh. What, what's, what's Exploring the with Josh. Exploring with Josh. Right. And they've been going. Now, I'll talk about Dark Arts first. Yeah. Um, Carl Hassel and his team. And I've watched a few of them now. And one of them, they went into an asylum. And some of the footage they caught in there was quite good, you know, of eyes and things like that. But then they went to one in Liverpool. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, I won't name the location or nothing like that, but anybody who wants to watch it, go and watch it. It's on Dark Arts' channel on on YouTube. And when they were in there, I mean, I'd been to this place when it was actually open, when it it was buzzing. Because I used to travel around um, with a band, a country band, who I knew. And they played there a few times. So, I, I mean, I had the, the, the privilege to go in, in there a few yeah. times and seeing it in, it in its full glory. And when you look at the building now, it's so sad to see it the way it is. Now, when they were in there, when Dark Hearts were in there, Carl and, and his mates, um, they were looking around and they decided to do an investigation. Yeah. You've seen it, haven't you? Yeah, yes. Yeah, and. Is. One of them was taken over. Wow. That was Flex. Flex, yeah. He had to, they had to leave the building. He had to get him out the building, didn't yeah, he? That's right, yeah. But yeah. some of the stuff they caught, I mean, Carl was down in the, um, he went down into the, 
It's like a basement. The, the basement. Yeah. Was, and he was calling out on the door. Yeah, the door, yeah. Well, he didn't he hear something first. It, yeah, he was calling right. out and he heard he heard a woman. Like a, a woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then as he walked up, I think he was I think he was sort of on his way out, wasn't he? Yeah. Because he, he was like he heard the woman and he, he got, got a bit, bit rattled. Out, yeah. 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 But as he walked down and then it was round the corner, wasn't it? Mm. The door was at the very end and the door slammed. The door was shut, it just shut. <sighs> and he, yeah. he, 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 I think, give him his due, like he went up to the door and checked it. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, whereas I would have run, like, gone up the stairs and gone. Yeah. To be fair, though, there was nowhere else to go. There wasn't, was there? No. That was the way out. That was the way out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. So Jamie would still that. be in there in the corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah in the corner, go, <laughs> yeah. weeping. Yeah. But, I mean, give Carl his due. He went up there and he was calm oh, getting yeah. out. So he had to Touch be. Well, he was he was calm as you could calm could be, like yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he met he met two of the other team, mm. um, and one of them thought, Wolf, was it Wolf? Flex um, Flex was missing. Flex went he? missing, didn't he? He went missing. Well, he he didn't he think he was on? He was in a different bit. That's right. And I think it yeah. was. One of them was in the stage area. Was it Dan that was with them? Is he the, the American fella? No. Or Irish fella, sorry. No. I'm wrong on the accent then. <laughs> but there was one of them. Um, I've seen him on quite a few of them now. Where he's yeah. got, he, he always has his hood up. Yeah. He was near the stage. That's right. And then there was the... Oh, I forgot his name with the beard. Um, I don't know his name now, but he was he'd gone to another area. Yeah. Carl had gone down into the the, the I right. call it the cellars, yeah. right? And then Flex had gone wherever he went. Yeah. And they all met on the stairs, yeah. and they all had a story to say. Like the one who was on the stage thought they'd gone back to him, or he he thought he had a woman on the stage or something. Yeah, right. Then when they were meeting up, the other fella came out and he turned around and said. He's just not been in there, and he went no. And he, said, yeah. he was swore wow. that there was somebody in there with him. Oh, Carl had the door shutting, but they couldn't find Flex. Yeah. Now Flex is the one who's like a sensitive. He picks things up and everything else, doesn't he? Yeah. And what was happening? He, he ended up. It looked like he'd been taken up when when he found them. He was just sitting there, head down, yeah. oblivious to anything. Yeah. Wow. Um. Skept- skeptics would say he, he was, you know, he was an act, but yeah, yeah. seriously, I mean, he stood up, they got him up, didn't he? And you could see the concerns for him and everything it else. Was, yeah. And as he stood him up, he went, he, he just fell to the floor. Yeah. There was no stopping him. God. So in the end, <coughs> they got him out the building, didn't they? They took yeah, his bag, they, they got, got him out. and everything. They had to get him out. Yeah. And they had to climb over this, like, gate. And they had to help him over the gate. And yeah. as soon as he got outside, he was lying on the floor. He was genuinely lying on the floor and everything. Yeah. And um, he came around and everything else, but he didn't remember anything, did he? He didn't remember a thing. And I, no. I mean, I, I've watched loads because uh, I watch a lot of the Explore videos, as yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, and and it's all it's usually all them lads. They've Keep all got talking. I'm having a drink. They've all got their own channels, uh, and they all join each other on yeah. to do like road trips and stuff like that. So yeah. they all they all join up and stuff and do their own things as well. Yeah. I've watched Flex mm. quite a few times. The brilliant, and I've never ever, yeah, but I've never ever seen him do that, do anything mm-hmm. like that, which makes me believe that it is real. Oh yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think there's no the kind of people who, who fake anything because they're not. The genuine lads, you can see the genuine. I mean, we know Carl. Yeah. And he's a genuinely nice oh, fella, yeah. you know. Yeah. But when when you're seeing them doing that stuff, I don't know how I'd cope with it. No. God. Um, you know, I seen another one. Um, what was it? Um, they went into an asylum or somewhere. I don't know where it was. Yeah. And was was it them or was it? Was Carl with them? Yeah, I think he was. It was somewhere, I think it was Manchester or something. I don't know. It was a big yeah, asylum, an yeah. old place. And when they were in there, was Carl with them? I can't, do you know what? Being honest with you, I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. And as they were going through, they were showing you the place. It was massive. It was a huge place. And they found the mortuary. 
Oh, right. Oh. And on the mortuary, there was a big Jesus Christ on the cross. Oh, yeah. And there was a big slab, you know, where yeah. they used to put the bodies yeah. and whatever. But And he was explaining that they, they tried to, somebody tried to, to salvage the, the, the um, slab. Yeah. But it was that heavy, it just collapsed and snapped. Wow. Sadly, it's still there. I mean, yeah. it would be nice if somebody took it and put it back together again because it's Victorian, as they explained. Yeah. But before that, they were in the hallway. And when they were in the hallway, they put the teddy bear near a door. Hmm. Or what was a door. Yeah. And that was going off. Wow. The oh, K2 wow. was going off. And they were hearing things. Oh, there'd be no electricity in anywhere like that. There was no electricity no, whatsoever. Well abandoned. Yeah. And it was him exploring with Josh was with them. Ah, that's when he came over. Yeah. And yeah. he was he you can see he was rattled and he was he was he was saying this is genuine, you know, we, we yeah. don't we don't do anything. And he was explaining it on and, and do you know what? A hundred percent believe them. Yeah. yeah. And I mean any listeners out there, go and watch Dark Arts. Yeah. Go and watch Exploring with Josh. Yeah. And all the other ones who are with him. Oh. I, I, um Flex. Um, I can't remember the other. Sadly, I can't remember the other lad. But they are absolutely yeah. brilliant. And th- 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 and when they, when you're going to go exploring, I mean, not everything's paranormal. So if you're into the paranormal, no. pick and choose what you want to watch or watch the yeah. lot. It's up yeah. to you. Some are, some, some are of aren't. the paranormal stuff. I mean, it, that Josh goes to. He's been to the Conjuring well, house. Yeah, he's, he's done been the some creepy house. place. Uh, yeah, yeah he, he's yeah. done some really good places. <clears> and, um, especially when he's over in the states, he, he yeah. does. Uh, he does things with um, it's a lad called Steve. Yeah, his second yeah. name. Can't remember his second name. It's, it's some of the places they go to. Uh, they are creepy. You want to be with? You want to join them? They've done. That's the thing. You want to join yeah, them later? Oh god, yeah, you do. Uh, they've done Chernobyl as well. Have All them, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been cool. Chernobyl. I, I mean, I, I yeah. say to people... Freaky, now, freaky place. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying to, to Jonathan earlier on, I said if I was a lot younger than what I am, yeah. um, I'd do that. I'd do what mm, they're doing yeah. because it, it's absolutely brilliant to watch. Um, can you imagine exploring with Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I'd be, I'd be cool. I'd call it exploring with Jay. Oh... <laughs> But no, I'd love to do that. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, funnily enough, um, the paranormies haven't put anything up for the last week or so. No, I'm not I keep, I keep, on, Well, know. you know what I'm like. I'll pop in every yeah. every week. I'll look into it and see if there's anything there. Seen mm-hmm. Dark Arts and that. And, um, Dark Arts has got that many on there. I'm trying to catch up with them. I know, yeah. I'm sure, he's been storing them up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know, well, you know what, Carl? He's out all the time. Yeah. He's absolutely. And, and, and he is and, brilliant. And, and another one as well, Sam and Jess. Because Carl does a lot with Sam and Jess now. That's right, Sam yeah. Sam and Jess yeah. explores. Well, like you were saying, they, they mix with each other. Yeah, they all, they, they, um, do they all uh, intermix and do different yeah. things with each other, which is good. Yeah, I'm still going to try and get Carl to take us out on one so I can record it for the show. I'd love to, you know. Yeah. Really yeah. would love to. I think it'd be good. Well, I think it'd be an experience. Yeah. Well, I've I've spoken to um, Carl only by text. Yeah. And um, because he's really busy, it, it takes him a while to reply. And when he does reply, yeah, it, you know, I he think he said he's going to be in touch and everything. I've else. seen on his Instagram today. I think he's up in Scotland. He never stops. I think it was Glasgow with Sam and Jess and exploring with Danny. Go and subscribe to him. Yeah. Subscribe to Dark Arts. Yeah, so some and, good stuff coming uh, up there. And the other one is is Dark Territory. Yeah. Um, who are close to our hearts. We we absolutely love Dark Territory. And again, we've got Sean Kenner in there. Yeah. Uh, and I was talking to Sean today. Oh, um, right, seeing okay, how yeah. he was on that. Because, yeah. as you know, I've had a chest infection. So I've like been a bit quiet with them all. Mm-hmm. So give him a message, and I've got to say congratulations to Sean Kenner because he's now a married man. He got married on the twenty first of June. Oh wow! wow. So congratulations oh, to him. I think yeah. his wife is called Kaylee. Oh, so uh, congratulations to them both. I oh, hope God. you have a, a yeah. wonderful, wonderful life together. Yeah, um, you fully deserve it. Um, Super. Yeah. So congratulations to you yeah. both. Now, as I was saying, I was talking to Sean and um, they're doing season two. They've got four more places to do and then season two's done. And he's saying that 
soon they'll soon be back up and running on the um, streams and that oh brilliant and Can't he said and season one's been revamped oh right okay you know, it's been um redone and, and i think it's gone to a higher definition or whatever they want to call yeah. it i don't know yeah um he couldn't say too much because obviously it, everything's on the quiet so but he oh, said yeah. i could mention that so oh, i'm looking forward to seeing dark hearts back up there they're dark territory yeah. dark territory sorry <laughs> sorry sorry sean and that. sorry sean sean and carl two sean's on the carl isn't it yeah, no. um but they work together anyway so it's okay yeah yeah and i can't wait for them to come back up they are so so professional Good, aren't they yeah they should have their own tv show oh, they should. They, they they totally should deserve they it. Of gear yeah. They brought. yeah and they came and it's, it's not it wasn't cheap gain either that was yeah. high high class stuff i know yeah. yeah but they are so professional you're yeah. too quiet no i'm just listening yeah, yeah. but um to, to you know to speak to sean today it was really nice to, to hear from yeah, him and everything else good. Um, and he said, wait till you see the Mill Street Barracks one. Being real nice. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing that, you know. Yeah. Good. So anybody out there, keep an eye on for dark arts, dark territory. Oh dear, I'm at it again, aren't I? Yeah, I'm at it again. See, dark it's territory. Hold the doors shut at 10, you know, like, uh, <laughs> I think he's due back. Oh dear. Yeah. No, dark, yeah. okay then. Yeah. Tune in and watch out for and subscribe to dark territory there's nothing on there yet but there will be and like i said before also subscribe to dark arts yeah and don't forget to subscribe to us neither let's access yeah. paranormal radio podcast and youtube that's the one yeah. you know so you've got to do that as well so anyway what we're going to do now it's, it's that time that we've got to go and do the interview well play the interview we did with david trainer yeah a fabulous fabulous man and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it over to David now. And this is the interview we did a little bit earlier on with David. Joining us in the studio, we've got psychic and spiritual medium and local medium, I've got to say as well, is David Trainer. Welcome to the show, David. Hi, nice to be here. And I've got to say, we've been blown away. I know we've done the interview, we've just started the interview now, but we've been around the building with you. <laughs> and I'm, I'm gobsmacked at what you've said, and I mean, you'd even mentioned me dad, which were like that was a nice poignant point, and, and and you didn't even know, no, you didn't even know about no. my dad. No, but we're here about you, David, and not about me. It's <laughs> always <laughs> about me when we're on this show. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you know how you got into the mediumship, because that that that's something that really interests oh, us yeah. all. Oh, like right, that. okay. Well, um, you know, I've been a child medium, and uh, my parents were undertakers and uh my yeah, dad your yeah. Was on the yeah he yeah, was yeah. yeah and uh it was really crazy because he used to go out and collect uh the bodies of people who passed away and uh take them back to the yard and when i got up in the morning as a child i used to get up and just tell him a couple of things about them or the name or and it used to drive him mad he just really, really <laughs> wasn't. Yeah, yeah, it was really yeah. weird. Anyway, uh, it, it it went on and on, and then I developed uh, kind of uh, friends, little friends in the spirit who used mm. to talk to me, and I used to like to spend a lot of time on my own, and that was that was quite incredible because all the time I was connecting to the spirit and 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 speaking to them, but not realizing it kind of thing and then uh, i used to do weird things i used to um like when i was in my sleep i used to sleep with my eyes wide open because I could always see faces over me and things like that and um then all of a sudden i realized i come to realize that there was more to life than being alive that there was yeah. something else so it, it's kind of dawned on me yeah. and uh then uh it must be i don't know years and years went by and i was i was enjoying natural uh spiritual stuff and etc and um i just met uh, met my wife and uh, we were driving along in a taxi uh one night we we come to St. Helens to go out um i, I was only about 19 and uh, we were we were going through i think it's victoria square is that the square there yeah, yeah. Yeah, is, yeah, Victoria yeah. Square. You'll have to prompt me because it's a long time since I've lived here. And I just said to her, um, and she said to me, "This, this, 
didn't surprise whatsoever. Uh, I just said to her, you know, uh, Andrea, I can speak to the dead. I said, and, uh, and I just know that we don't die. And she just looked at me and she just said, why am I not surprised? <laughs> and um, and I just went from there. <coughs> yeah. And then uh, I met my best friend, Baz. And uh, Barry has um, managed me together with some other people. And mm. um, and we, we after, we, we <laughs> it was crazy. We went to uh, a spiritualist church and... Um, there was this guy on there, this medium, I can't even think of his name now, it was that many years ago. Uh, age is taking my brain away. And uh, he he just pointed me out and he just said uh, that there's going to be great things for you. You're, you're, you do know that you're going to be a very, very renowned spirit medium. And uh, I just said, all right, thanks. And, and we came up, we went to the car and I just said to Barry, and being no renowned spirit medium whatsoever, and being who I am, and that's it. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> then we, uh, we it, it was so it was so crazy. Then it all accelerated, and uh, I began to just demonstrate. And it was really weird because wherever I demonstrated, um, I just got hordes of people coming along and. And it just, it, uh, there was no social media then. There was no, mm. there was, you know, the only way of advertising really in the main was word of mouth. Yeah. And everywhere I went, I was just getting more and more and more people watching. Um, and people were fascinated and um, it, it just grew from there. And then uh, uh, the the um, the next thing, what was really crazy was uh, the medium, Derek Cora. Uh, lovely man, really lovely, and yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd uh, watched him uh, in Liverpool when he used to uh, do the Liverpool churches, and uh, I'd followed him, and I don't think he was m much aware of me, I think he, uh, uh, at the time, and um, he was doing a, a show on uh, the Floral Hall in Southport, and it was sold out from front to back, and he, he he was great. I mean, he was full of fun and full of energy, and and really uh, right up there. And um, I was we the last tickets we could get. There was three of us. There was myself, Andrew, and Barry, and we could only get um, halfway at the back at the top. And uh, it started, and you know it, the lights flashed. Da 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 da. da. Well, ladies and gentlemen, psychic medium Derek Agora, and everybody cheered and came on the stage and then uh, he just said something strange happening to me he said and he ran off the stage and I mean there must have been I don't know how many it holds but I know it holds over a couple of thousand people and he ran straight up the middle of the aisle and I was sat on the chair in the aisle in the seat in the aisle right up the middle of all the all of it right up to the right at the back near where I was stood and he just said I want to speak to you and pointed his finger straight at me and I was like right okay so this lady gave me the mic and he just he just said um um I just want you to know that you're an ambassador for the spirit world and the spirit world tell me that they've got great things for you and you're going to be the most recognized spirit around spirit medium around and I just went right okay I'm thinking to myself, don't do this to me. And everybody was looking at me and it was on the big screen. Yeah. And um, he said to Barry, and you're going to be uh, his, his side uh, man. Is is going to, you know, you're going to be the man who's going to always be at his side. And he said, you are truly gifted beyond anything I will ever see or know. That's what he said to me. And I just, I just said, right, okay. And he said, you have the most amazing energy. And I said, well, thank you very much for that. And then he said, it's lovely to have met you. And he walked off, he walked back down. And I'm thinking, I can't believe that he said that. <laughs> and and what was really crazy was, um, we, we came out and everybody was walking up to me saying, you know, you should be doing this, it's, it, you know, if he said this to you. Mm -hmm. And I just, I just, Kind of when something like that happens to you, I, I'm not I'm not one of these people who jump on the 
bandwagon too yeah, much. Yeah. I like I like just so we went along with it, and of course, it did start to expand. You know, um, uh, the guy who wrote my books, uh, he didn't write my books; he published my books. Yeah. Brian Prescott, uh, he 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 didn't write them; they're all handwritten by myself. But um, he he came along. He, he was uh, investigating a murder. Um, his best friend had been. Um, through to prison for a murder that Brian didn't believe he committed. He'd never told me this. In fact, he came through once to one seated in that famous conservatory. And uh, he didn't, he he booked under a false name. And he came in and he sat down with his friend who booked under a false name as well. But however they, you know, I, I, I didn't know that. I just talked to them and... Uh, I just said, oh, you've both put under a false name. And he just went, how do you know that? I said, it's the names you've booked under. I said, I don't have to be a psychic. I said, but you don't look like a, a an Horatio to me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you look like a Brian. And he went, that's my name, Brian. I said, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> and and they just started laughing. And then what happened was I brought the lady through. The, the, I can't, for legal reasons, I can't speak about this. No. Mind you, I can give an intimate, the late intimation of it. The lady, um, her husband was accused and and obviously was sent to prison for her murder. And she came through this lady, as she described her to him, said the name of her, what had gone on, and they were both blown away. They were so blown away, they were, they were just absolutely gobsmacked and um, of course Brian pursued everything that we that I said and uh, it came to pass that the gentleman was freed from prison Brian's friend um, but he, he it, it was an awful time but but of course then Brian said to me I'm a publisher and I would love to publish a book about you or your your life story, how you've come into this, said, because I've been seeing mediums for years. And he'd been seeing uh, one of the mediums who uh, who was a medium to the Queen Mother. Uh, her name was Doris, not Doris Stokes, a different Doris. And um, he said that he, he would never been so blown away with anything in his life. So he, he published the books, uh, yeah. Friends in High Places and A Bridge to Angels. And uh, and also there's a couple of other books there that have not been yet published just simply because of the COVID. Uh, there's Into the Light and Destiny of the Soul. Mm. And the, the those books are about my times when I was in America and when I went as a pilgrim to uh, connect the the people with the loved ones who'd been killed in the 9-11 not to capitalize on that but i used my own my own money to go over there because they had no form of counseling or nothing there was no significant help given so i i went over and and did that and um that was the books that's that's where those books come from right uh into the light and destiny of the soul and there I was very fortunate to meet a, a gentleman called Peter Dunn. He was then the vice president, pre, vice president of of CBS, uh, and he invited me uh, to go on the TV. There, I did a, a reading for him, which was amazing. Then I, I ended up doing a reading for William Shatner. I was just I've just written down William Shatner there because yeah. he went on as it was a CBS News. Yeah, and, and he they was picked up the story. Yeah, well, when yeah. I, I'd never watched Star Trek. Okay. I'm not a big TV fan. Um, I suppose Ground Force, Alan Titch Marsh, and uh, <laughs> Placing the Sun's my yeah. my max. Yeah. Uh, and um, I, I sat in the waiting area, and uh, he sat next to me. And Andrew is a big sci-fi fan, and Barry is. And they're going, oh my god, oh my god. And he said, uh, oh, you're you're the medium, aren't you? And I said, yeah, I am, yeah. And he had a big hole in his jeans knee. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, I wonder who he is. He must be cleaner. And I was like, I was like, I was like thinking. And I'm talking to him, and he just and I and, he, and I said, uh, oh, I said, do you work here then? 
Uh, no. <laughs> it sounds like me. <laughs> that sounds like you, Jamie. Does it? Yeah. And, I, and uh, I, I just said, all right. And he went, you have no idea of you. And I went, no. And he went, all right, okay. He said, I'd love you to read for me. I'm William Shatner. So I said, all right, hello, William, nice to meet you. And it still didn't twig on because I don't watch Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what the most loveliest man ever. And he invited me on his show in California. And at that time, my mum had just been taken ill and she started with dementia. And I stepped back from that to look after my mum. Uh, else that would have been the door opening for me to be on your mainstream mm. TV. But I, I took the opposite and, and, and looked after my mum who lasted, she lived with me 14 years and uh, I nursed her. And that, that would have been my... Mm. Uh, way forward but i didn't i took uh i, I put that before yeah and that's what oh, i went that, on that's, mm-hmm. you, well yeah. you've done the right thing really you know oh absolutely yeah, absolutely yeah. there's no regrets there and yeah. i mean at the end of the day really she used to come around the tours we've got a tour bus yeah. and uh, she used to come on the tours with me and uh and it, yeah lovely and that that's a bit of the potty history what's gone on you know yeah. and uh and um of course I've done lots of lots of other work, um, and that's 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 yeah. that's you know. Now, what brought me to light with you was the in two thousand and fifteen you were on a documentary on Channel Four, and I re- I actually remember, I don't remember it all, but I remember watching it. Yeah, my psychic and, life, and yeah, my psychic life, and there was you. I thought it was in St. Helens, but you corrected me and said, no, that was in, it was in Prescott. Yep. And um, how did it feel, that one? I mean, I remember watching it and I'm thinking, oh, this is interesting. I've never seen it. I've never, I, to be honest with you, I'd never seen a medium live before. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I found that really unusual, you know, because I'm thinking, how does a medium do something live? <laughs> so, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, of so course. When I seen it on channel, on, on, on my cycle life, I do remember it. It wasn't just you. It was other things on there. Yeah, well, it was. Right? Yeah. Um, I mean, the documentary came to life, basically, uh, a friend just advertised it on a Facebook page that the uh, uh, that um, Lime Productions were looking for uh, mediums to be part of a documentary. Um, it was an unpaid documentary, mm-hmm. and Barry said to me, why don't you go for it? It's local. It doesn't involve you moving away with your mum. Um and there was a lot of mediums went for that. I mean, I'm going to talk about maybe thousands. Wow. And I I got that. And the guy who was the producer, Joe Lister, said that he felt that I was totally, totally out of everything genuine. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was a lovely comment. Yeah. Well, I don't know what he said to the others because I, we, de- we never kind of met the others. I met uh, one of the guys on there briefly, very briefly, but that was never put in. There was a lot of, there was a lot with My Psychic Life, um, there was a lot of filming done, which was about about me and my abilities and my gift and showing you that in a greater way than what that turned out to be. Mm. Not that I was disappointed with it, I had no feelings either way about it. Um, when I watched it, you know, um, I got, I think it trended about 17 million, kept trending that. So it was quite, it was quite good. I got absolutely uh, roasted with negative press over it. I was just going to mention that because there was good stuff about it and then there was the bad press wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, still, and, and, and I, you mention it now, it's still... Yeah, but, but it's kind fence, of, yeah. I, I, to be honest with you, um, for me, who is has to demonstrate in, and and fill a theater, you know, I didn't give a monkey's uncle if it was negative or positive because it's all it's still out there. It's, it's all out publicity, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all out there. And yeah. in actual fact, what people didn't realize is is that when that went out, okay, when that went out, we didn't have enough people to man our ticket sales one-to-ones everything it went off the board off the scale and i Mm. had people walking up to me who hated what i'd done on there but came to see my demonstration because they wanted to see me fall flat Mm. on my ass 
and what they didn't see was that <laughs> you see that what they actually saw was that it really that didn't portray i, I he's a great documentary he's mm. the best in 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 the uk he is the yeah. he's up there him joe Joe Lister, fabulous, an amazing man, and an amazing documentary. And I have not one moment uh, of of regret in doing it whatsoever. I'd have loved it to have not included the other people. That sounds selfish. Well, no, but I'm being probably, honest. They probably yeah. thought the same. If you, if you yeah, yeah, it. yeah. I'd have yeah. loved it not to include yeah. them. Not because I, I don't really particularly know any of them, mm. and I never met mm. them. Uh, just because. I I just didn't want to be, um, you know, uh, put at the side of them, really. I would have preferred it just to have been a documentary mm. about what I do. Yeah, and yeah. I think it would have had more value uh, to the spiritual community than what it did mm. in that way. Um, however, you know, I, I, I have no understanding of the other people, so I can't comment on what their particular abilities are. But it was just one of those situations where, for me... It it, it 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 did me the best favour in the world yeah. in a negative way. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, you always say it doesn't matter what kind of press you get, oh, it's still yeah. getting your name out there. It's like, I mean, I don't know whether it was before that one or after that one. There was one. I won't mention the medium's name or not because I don't want to be disrespectful. There was a documentary on, on a medium from Merseyside. Right. And... It brought a bad light. It, it it really was not good, you know, for mm. for him. And I, in a way, I did feel sorry for him because I mean, he's out there. He was enjoying it all. Somebody came along, done a documentary with him, went with him, and literally, you know, it was not. It was, yeah, it was, it, they, they, they were like yeah. showing him in, in a bad light, really. Yeah, in a in a negative. You see, yeah. it's supposed to be in a balanced way. Mm. And you know what? I'll tell you something about my psychic life. Um, what what it did bring about was that there are diff in 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 mediumship in this paranormal world in in the world that we uh, uh, enjoy um, there's got to be different personalities different types mm -hmm. uh, because <clears throat> what it can never be is bland. Because uh, spirits, when we communicate with our higher selves, when we connect with our higher selves anyway, our, personal, our personality is lifted and we become that, that medium. But the other thing is as well, it can never be bland, you know. It's never bland and it's never... What, what's gone on very, very sadly in the world of mediumship is this kind of unwritten rules now coming in where people have got to be bland and and think well you know that is wrong because people express the spirit in their own way and in, in all the different ways that they do and and if you're fun with the spirit you're fun if you're doleful you're doleful but that that's if you have a, a world where all spirit mediums are psychics and paranormal investigators are all the same it's going to be very dull and very boring for people mm. to watch and be part of mm. everybody's different and in that enthusiasm and that, that difference, it brings about a much more colourful approach mm. to what we do. And that's what that documentary yeah. did. It showed that people were different. People could laugh at the woman speaking about yeah. seeing a spirit in, in the in the seat. I didn't see the spirit in the seat, but then that's not to say the spirit wasn't there. Yeah. 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 Do you get me? Exactly. And the guy yeah. was doing the guy was doing uh, a reading uh, for uh, the drag artist and then he was in to keep fit. Uh, it seemed very, very active and fit. The young girl who who was training. There was another uh, the the lady who's um, who who uh, did the the séance and the phone went off. All those all those things bring colour to it. Uh, you know, mm. they're not. It's not boring. You yeah. know, yeah. I'd had I'd had a bag of chips. I wish I'd never have eaten them chips, <laughs> but I did do. <laughs> I but, did do. But don't don't you find now? I mean mediums like yourselves years ago there was, there, there was you were unique when mm. now i think and we've mentioned this before on the show yeah. me there seems to be mediums everywhere oh yeah well you see because what you must understand is is it's a six billion pound industry first of all mm. mediumship once upon a time is a vocation now it is a career there's no question. People won't like me saying it, 
but it is a career. To be a psychic, to be a medium, to be a paranormal investigator, to run uh, um, uh, educationals, to do investigations, you know, it is an industry. Whether it be right or wrong, it is. And, uh, you know, I think think what happens is as well is people also see it as an easy way to earn a book. Mm-hmm. You know, I I watched a, a a young guy on the on the Facebook on the on the Facebook, and he he must have only been eighteen or twenty, and he was offering a lady marriage guidance counsel, uh, and I I just thought to myself through tarot cards, and I thought to myself, what is that this all about at all? Mm. You know, and I I just think yeah, there's lots of mediums out there. But then again, there's not. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and, I mean, and, I mean, you've been doing it for years. And years. It, it must be really, really um, difficult for you to to go out there now. I mean, you're probably not. You're probably dead relaxed. I mean, I've, I've seen you and it was fantastic. But it must be that, you know, with all these other ones, and, and, and I say some of them are charlatans. Yeah. Um, and that's my opinion. And... It must be difficult for you with all these going around trying to say I'm a medium. I, I don't. To be honest years. with you, um, don't I, you don't, yeah. I don't. I don't. I, I don't give it mind space because I, you know, there's as I've said, there's a lot of mediums, a lot of psychics, but there's not. Mm. Mm. I like the way you put that. Yeah. Yeah. There's exactly. not. Yeah. You yeah. you can't. You can. It, it, I don't care who they are. I don't care how they are, what they represent, or who they are. You cannot be that situation in a month mm. or three years. Mm-hmm. You know, I've lived a lifetime of doing these things. These these. Mm. You know, you know. I was doing sort of connecting with the dead before before anybody even come on the tv mm. connecting with the dead yeah. and it you know you can't you you can't make these people they're not made made like that they evolve they grow and and there will be some even when i'm in the light into the spirit there'll be people who'll be on the planet who'll be evolving into these new and unique and up-to-date mediums which would be fantastic but because of the social media it's a very easy way to put over that you're a medium Mm. but you see the key is is standing in front of the public face to face with them and doing what you do mm-hmm. and that tells you whether you're a medium or not mm-hmm. you know and and the other thing is as well you know we mustn't we mustn't forget that in the world there is a, an <clears throat> uprising of spirituality because you know people don't want the the i suppose the the constraints of what religious beliefs hold you know plus some people who are spiritual uh, wouldn't be accepted in in mainstream religious beliefs. So people people like the openness of being spiritual without having the hardcore rules. Hmm. And I think that's that's massive, really. You know, and and I mean, it does help a lot of people. I mean, we've seen it now through lockdown, really, uh, where where such a, a lot of people have been so low. And I even know just with my Facebook lives, I, I you know, mm. I, 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 I haven't uh, started a supporters section. I've hardly charged people, and I've done as much as I can just to try and. It's very uplifting for people where the spirit touches, it heals. So mm. people have people have took on, you know, uh, that situation, and after been doing the courses, and and etc. But I. I always say, you know, there's, it is the correct way to put it that there's lots of mediums out there, but very few mediums. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah definitely. Right. Now, when you're doing your mediumship, you've just mentioned your Facebook Live then. Now, you do that every week, don't you? I do, yeah. I do a lot of Facebook Lives, going lives. So I do a Zoom reality demonstration every Friday night. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I am going to do a supporters page. I'm gonna, because you see, whilst I've, I've got the Facebook, 
as well. I've got like a couple of million fans there wow. who 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 follow me, people who follow me and do things. But Facebook has started to halt all that situation. The the reach isn't as great and 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 stuff like that. So and I, I get all the emails of these people and also I, I want to get back to doing my demonstrations and stuff and mm. um, you know and get get back out there really yeah. but um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna continue doing my facebook lives i really like them and uh i'd like to do some more paranormal investigations i did a few uh, with a, a yeah. <laughs> with a with yeah. a, a company as well who've been great and i'm I'm always open to any uh any investigations just because mm. uh, you know i am spiritual the essence of me is spiritual mm. and i'm and, and and as you've just seen you know i I, I like to go and yeah. look and see. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, I mean, you came here. Um, and we thought you were just going to come in and do the interview, and you said, "Oh, let's do, let's do." Yeah, okay, then. Yeah. You know, well, no. you went. Have you got your video camera? With, um, phone. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. we, we 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 it was unexpected, but it was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, you know, you course. you've you've taken me back because I'll be honest with you, David. I've always been skeptical with mediums. There's not been. I've not come across a medium yet that can read me. Really? Yeah. Uh, seriously, on my life, you know yourselves, Jonathan and, and, and Marino myself, mm. I've always been a sceptic. And that's no being, not being disrespectful No, in, in I, any I think way. it's very healthy being sceptical. Um, and I've, I've never had anyone turn around and say, this is blah, 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 blah. Not one. And that's why I'm sceptic and that's why I mentioned about mediums and that. Uh, but some of the information you gave here today, now you've never, ever been in this building and it was an off the chance thing that Marie contacted you and said, "Do you want to mm. come and do an interview? Nice little surprise for me." Um, it's 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 brilliant, mm. and um, you know, I, I'm always happy for now, yeah. yeah. I'm always happy for people to be skeptical because, mm. you know, people will come to me and say, "Prove it," and I say, "Well, at my age, I don't have to prove anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not interested in proving." Yeah. But what I am going to say is, is that you know, in 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 spirituality in me uh, the the subject is uh, a very sort of broad subject and it will always cough up um um questions and skeptics and and etc and of course we will always always have that because you know at the end of the day it's it it, it is you know, it, it is a difficult situation to understand, to get your head round, you know. Mm. We live in what we call a biocentric world, a world uh, where science call it, it's full of biocentrism, reproduction. Everything is, is part of the world and the way it ticks. Mm. So there's no reason for us just to live die and that would be the end of it there's no there's no there's yeah. no reason but what is good i think very healthy is that you do question because if you're a paranormal investigator you know uh, and you you do these investigations what you don't want to be doing is you do, you know everybody likes an experience everybody comes on a paranormal experience uh, on a, an investigation for an experience but you see some people have their own experience and that experience is usually brought about not by what's going on in the paranormal investigation, mm. just by themselves. They're all the ghostly experience. But I think it's always nice when you do you 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 know you you go down, you do a paranormal investigation and you look for reasons why that might happen. Mm -hmm. And then when you can't find the logical yeah. re reasons, then you know. That it's that's a real right. situation, mm. and I feel yeah. very happy about that. Yeah. And that, that's, that's the buzz right. you get out of. That's the buzz. Sorry, Marie. Sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying you try and debunk it, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. And yeah. It's the right thing. It's yeah. the right thing. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. One. I, I always. I always say, and I said this to some uh, a group who I was lecturing. I, I said, you know, never take it for granted just because a medium says it. Mm. Examine it look at it look at the situation why why you know don't just don't just take it on the on the noggin when you go for these mm. these paranormal investigations don't don't just just think about it you know because sometimes you know you can you you you, you can go to places and you 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 have experiences 
and the the energy fields which are around those places are creating those energy uh, those those feelings on on you know you 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 kind of uh, the the creating you to feel or sense mm-hmm. or or have you know have those feelings around you but in actual fact it's just you yeah. and yeah. so it's nice to when you go along you know um it's nice to actually uh, have have a, a solid kind of paranormal experience which which is real mm-hmm. not artificial and 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 brought about from nothing and 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 that's what the 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 the, the to me are the the investigations that i like to see mm-hmm. or i like to be part of yeah. you know when i when i'm walking around and I, when i showed you the, the man walking on the steps yeah going, I, i've yeah. got to get my head around it it was like you couldn't get your head around it it no. just wouldn't yeah. sink in would yeah. it to you? i mean i could see all the, the, the you know the, the the lights and everything else but to see something it was like it wasn't there i couldn't see it, it physically i couldn't see the person no, or nothing like that what I could see was like movement, as if yeah. there was someone there, mm. yeah. and yeah. I couldn't. I, I was thinking, well, that that's not that's the real because I can see the steps, I can do this, yeah. and then to see it move and then move it back up when when David was saying, yeah. I was going, well, you, am I really seeing? This? Yes, am, of am course. I, you know, because yeah. what you must understand is is sometimes when you when you use our our our, our mobile phones these days are so um, clever. They're so they're so uh, clever in everything that they do, yeah. and the light on them, and etc. And and the the camera, it's so definitive. Uh, the camera, and and it can be even more definitive than some of the paranormal equipment that we use in mainstream investigations. Um, uh, you know, don't discredit your mobile phone in any way because, you know, it's it really is a little minefield of mm-hmm. technology. And when when you were seeing that on the steps there, what was going on is the spirit was walking up the steps and you indeed were seeing the shadow of the spirit. And and you see, what you must understand is, is because it's a human spirit, they can create a shadow. And right. you were seeing that. And then what was going on when we saw the lady downstairs on the wall in the blue room? That's yeah, one with Jonathan, right, yeah. 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 I couldn't see it, but you, yeah. could, you could see it clearly. You could yeah. see it clearly. And then yeah. you saw what was happening. The orbs were flying out of her, weren't they? That's right, yeah. And that was because she was coming into the physical's atmosphere. So that's the first manifestation of a non-physical in a physical's atmosphere. It gives off the orbs. And then you saw all the orbs downstairs where the bodies were collect- mm, collected, yeah? yeah? And and all of that is is the visitation spirits coming in because as I, 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 the way I put it to you, in a place like this, a building like this, is this was a community. This was, uh, um, I don't know, a St. Helens community within a community. Yeah. This, this would have been, you know, a hospital. Uh, 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 it would have been... Uh, um, army. In a couple of army yeah. si- situations over over so many years, it would have been a, a church. It would have been a place where people met, like yeah. parents. Yeah. Um, it would have it, here was a community, and they in those in those years, people had good times. That's why they they were together. You see, yeah. that's you know they 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 had good times. They saw this as their time so when they come back and they visit and when they come back and they connect mm. what they're doing is they're coming back in their good time to visit yeah, and connect that was to have its place mm. yeah yeah because yeah. although it, it, it stored bodies and everything it, it, it doesn't feel a sad place no, it feels no. it, it, you know there is a few negative no. rooms in it but it feels a, a, a happy special mm. it's a this place actually is a happy special part of St. <clears throat> Helens. We've always said that. Yeah. Mm. Never you know. felt uh, threatened here. No. 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 It's a happy... It, it, to be quite to be quite honest with you, really, this should be made more of than what it is. Because this is a... This this actually is is part of the St. Helens heritage. It's yeah. part of it's part of, of, yeah. of the history of St Helens of the yeah. good of, of the, for the good of St Helens, the good of the people and people who are into the paranormal uh, world as well. 
you know, it, you know, there's lots of activity here. It, it, it is, it mm. is a, a, a nugget, mm. a, a nugget that I didn't even know existed. Really, I didn't. Uh, I, I remember a young girl uh, on one of my courses. She said to me, oh, "Have you heard of Mill Street Barracks?" I said, "No." I said, oh, "I haven't." And she she went on about it and said that she'd come here, and. Uh, and I just said, oh, no, I've never heard of it. I didn't even know it existed. And, and it never went It went out of my head until uh, you contacted one of the team. And mm-hmm. I, I just never... It's just not somewhere <clears throat> that mm-hmm. sticks in... Yeah, yeah. In my head, yeah. you know. Yeah. You'll never forget it now, though, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'd yeah. like to know, David? You've got other abilities. And you've named them in the past to us. What are those abilities yeah. that you've got, and what's the meaning to each one of them? Right. Okay. The names. Do you mean Do you mean like sort of the abilities within the 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 spiritual gift? Yes, that you've got. That's right. Exactly right. Yeah. 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 Question that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I'm a clairvoyant, a clear seeing medium. Plus, that means that um, also um, in the paranormal situation, that's all. Also, um, if I was to um, take hold of a, an object that was a, a past object i lost those because that object will have energetic energies on it i will be able to then start to get information from that object see that's yeah. another mm-hmm. form of clairvoyance the reaction to an object uh clear seeing collecting information audience i'm hearing Remember when I was saying oh, so yeah. with the names on the mm, thing, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, the 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 uh, audience uh, part of of my ability is just literally listening out a sense that goes beyond the sense of your normal senses and uh, listening out and hearing uh, the the information from the spirit. Sometimes in their accent, sometimes not. Uh, sentence sensing feeling feeling energy around you remember when i said that i could feel the change in energy i could yeah. feel yeah. the energy world <clears throat> around me mm-hmm. feeling very very sensitive very you know uh, feeling that things are changing feeling that there's negativity feeling when a spirit's approaching you the, the, those feelings and all those those senses and the 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 they come under the esp uh, senses and um, the there there are senses that we forget about uh, because of course we have our physical senses which are like your touch, taste, smell, see, hear, yeah, yeah. you know. But then of course they they negotiate your physical body around the physical world. Then you have your your non physical senses which are uh, negotiate your energy body, your spirit around the spirit world. And those those senses are uh, the clairs, and that's that's what they are. And uh, of course, we have uh, we also have telepathy, where we talk to a spirit through our heads, telekinesis, moving the objects, etc. We can do that as well. It all comes under ESP. But also, um, I'm a transcendental medium. That's where a spirit can step in and take over. We did a little bit of that today on the VT. Um, I've always been a trans medium. Uh, I I I have loved that. Uh, did quite a bit of that when I was in America for people in the nine eleven, and then uh, I I I'm also very into the overshadowment. That's allowing spirit to overshadow me and 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 show themselves. Of course, I'm a psychic artist. You see, yeah, that. we've got yeah, the drawings. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and of course, that's not me doing that. That's uh, the entity doing that and working me through. I will rip them off. Mm. You know. Mm. Um, I do that automatic writing. I can do that. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, can uh, sometimes I'll speak in different languages, but it won't be me. I can, however, speak English and some Spanish. But yeah, uh, can speak in different languages. Um, so that would be the spirit coming through doing the language. Correct. Yeah, I can do that. Um, just yeah, I can. Re- I can read cards, however, I don't need cards. I, I, I do it because people tend to like the interest of it. Do you do that past life regression? I can do that. Regressionist, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Life ch- uh, life coaching. I uh, can do spiritual hypnotism as well. Um, 
all 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 yeah. that it's fascinating. That, that's like yeah. that's some it's cv you've got there. <laughs> yeah it is it is yeah. and but don't forget as i said to you before what what you know what you need to understand is is i've not been doing this just 12 months yeah that's it isn't it yeah you, you've been you doing know. it all your life yeah. i was going to ask you right at the beginning when you asked it about yourself your mediumship and, and everything you do now, did that come naturally to you? Were you born with it or did you have to train for it? Yeah, no, I was born that way. Yeah. Um, I did go to a circle, mm-hmm. um, which, um, sorry, has something just come out there? It's only your headphone. Is it? Yeah, it's, um, yeah. it's only, uh, I was born that way. Um, and yeah, it was, it, it it's wonderful. Um, then we we went to a, a circle uh, with a gentleman called J, uh, Jim Rowe, and uh, me and Barry went, just because we needed to be around other people. We didn't know the first thing about spiritualism or or things like that. We needed to be around other people to see what it was, and um, and 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 yeah, we we kind of, you know we hit it off with everybody you know because mm. i mean you know as well it's a crazy world mediums it's a bit like amateur dramatics it can be it, it, it can be quite bitchy right mm. okay yeah, it's okay. not all all goodness and light love and light and all that mm. it can be quite uh it, 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 it it's, it's a crazy uh world to live in Mm. Because you can be uh, out there, and people can perceive you differently. Uh, but it's a, it can also be a very very hostile world. It's mm. it's fraught with jealousy. But I, 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 like we've noticed paranormal. that with the paranormal. We've noticed that there's yeah. jealousy. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 And yeah. we were saying that the yeah. other night, and and that we uh, talked about uh, yeah. it, and we said. You know why? It's a, it's a big enough world to, for us all to share. Yeah, you know, yeah, of course it is. Just, just enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, of course. And 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 like, it's it's it is. It's fraught with jealousy. It's such that the spiritual world. Okay, it's a sensitive subject with sensitive people saying sensitive things. Mm-hmm. And it's you can't you can't be too sensitive. But um, I always say, uh, what makes you professional is what we call self mastery, and that's what a lot of these mediums and these investigators don't have: self mastery, the ability to master oneself and control one's demons, um, and that that is massive. And I'll tell you, I admire. Derek Cora for that. Yeah, I've I've met Derek a few times. Yeah, Lovely you fella. you yeah. you you know what he could put into two words was enough. Hmm. It was he he had the ability of that. Very good. It's the, it's it's something that you you find that that a lot of mediums don't have um, is that they see other spiritual situations as threats and. It's mm. almost like they they're on an emotional roller coaster. They can't get their head round life, and it's quite. It's a bit. Mm. It is a different. Honestly, it's a totally different life. Being it, the the world of spirituality is not what people think no. at all, and mm. you you know it, it, it is simply because a lot of people out there are very much. Uh, they haven't learned to master their own demons or be in control of themselves and therefore jealousy bitchiness all them types of things do come to the fore and uh, sad it is yeah yeah sad it is but i i tend to you just get on with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the best way. The best way it, it is, though, is, I mean, I've noticed that when people who want that fame, people who want that fortune, people who want to be in the forefront, get get the worst trolling. 
and in, yeah. why don't you just be themselves just relax and be that with person I just I never understand yeah. it I well, don't and I, I just can ne- I can never get my head around it really Um I, I just can't, and I just think yeah. to myself, you know, it goes in yeah. one ear and out one the other with me. Yeah. So yeah. that's the best way. To, I mean, look at Derek Accor. You, you you mentioned him, so we'll, I'll give him a mention. Mm. Phenomenal man, beautiful man, really nice fella. He's been here at Mill Street Barracks, and I stood with him and I was chatting to him. And you know, I'm thinking all these people who, uh, you know, were nasty to him and everything. Sadly, he passed, and and, and people were still being nasty. Yeah, you know awful. why? You know, you know. Uh, you, I'm, I'm, uh, do you forget um, you're human beings? Yeah, I'm a You've friend. You've got feelings. Yeah, uh, is I'm a friend uh, to his wife, and obviously I knew Derek for a very long time. Gwen, yeah, uh, yeah. Gwen, yeah, yeah. and um, very nice person, very nice. Made me feel very, very welcome on the uh, the, the friends of Derek Cora page. Very nice, and um, he was always very nice. He was just a, a nice, genuine man who had fun and everything but you see the downside is is when you become a name sadly the people who are around you are not happy for you yeah they they, mm. they want to know why it's not for them you know yeah. Yeah. and right. um and it's it's so sad really because yeah. that's that's the way sadly that's the way of society yeah. but yeah, but true. i i you know, for me, anybody who wants to troll me, they might as well troll the wall because I thumb <laughs> my nose to them and I'm not even interested. <laughs> and if they want to spend the time doing that, well, good luck to them because they'll never get behind me because yeah. I'm just not interested yeah. whatsoever. Well, you always say, don't you, when you become a name, you become a, a target. It's as yeah. simple as that. I'm, I'm, it just doesn't really affect me whatsoever. I mean, yeah. the amount of trolling I got after the My Psychic Life and, and people used to say to me, uh, even even people who I knew uh, yeah. were really uh, strange about it, and I used to just burst out laughing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I I even I even went to a funeral, and uh, um, uh, a minister started trolling me. And I just laughed. Trolling you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah, and I just laughed because yeah. they're not all they're doing is all they're doing is wasting their own time. They never get behind me because I'm not going to stop. And mm. I'm not interested yeah. in being the friends, and you know I'm I'm yeah. never going to be I'm never going to be anything else but a, me, myself, and I'm never going to be interested. Mm. I'm always going to do what I want to do because that's how I am. Mm. <laughs> well, you, so, so to be honest, people, sorry. Yeah, I was about to say, Jamie, all the people out there like us who are interested in you, where can we look you up? Where can where we're best getting hold of you? Well, you see, I'm always on the Facebook. They 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 just got they've just got. Uh, a new uh, team member is is going to be doing all the social media just because we you know we're now with COVID and and etc. and uh, you know you can always anybody can always watch email private message into my uh, Facebook page Side Can Spirit Medium David Trainer. Uh, they're, they're going to update the websites. They're they're, they're possibly going to uh, give me my own uh, YouTube channel, but um, I, I've not. I, you know, through COVID, I've done a lot of Facebook Live and I've done a lot of mm. courses. I've done the Zoom reality. Um, I did do an investigation. <laughs> Uh, in in a crypt that was a bit crazy, uh, and I did do an investigation at Crank Caverns as well. Yeah, I was going to yeah. bring up the Crank uh, Caverns. Yeah, ones. Yeah. yeah, and uh, you know, I'm I'm always up for, I'm always up for, uh, having a shot at stuff. I'm not, you know, mm. at the end of the day, um, I'm spirit medium David Trainer because I'm I'm interested in the life of spirituality and paranormal yeah. i'm not spirit medium david trainer because i'm interested in bitching or not getting on with people i'm spirit medium david trainer because i'm interested on the contrary of meeting new people and finding out about them as well yeah. you know yeah, i'm that's, it, that's that's how we grow isn't it how yeah. we learn and grow yeah. and um yeah, it's 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 wonderful. It really is. Yeah. Now going back to the Crank Caverns. Oh yeah, we had a little bit of a mention of that when we were having a wander around. You know. Yeah. And I, I mean, we all love Crank Caverns. Yeah. We've been there Do ourselves. You like it? Love it. 
Beautiful. I mean, okay, they're blocking up the entrances at the moment, or they've blocked the entrance up, but they've had to leave a gap for, for reasons beyond our. And I mean, we've been there. It's a, it's a very, very eerie place, as you know yourself. Now you went there and you'd done an investigation there. I did, and uh, I went. I went with um, uh, great, uh, a great paranormal investigator. Mention that. Uh, mention the investigation. Uh, they, they, uh, uh, they're just absolutely uh, ghost quest. Um, and the, the the you know Ben Nile, great, great, yeah. just great, great people to get on with. But strangely enough, that that's the, the, the we, we, my group's called Ghost Quest as well. Is it? <laughs> yeah, we've been eleven years. Well, I, I I no difference though, mind I you. um I I just went. He just invited me one day mm. to uh, go on an investigation, but he said the way we run our investigation, David, is we don't tell you where it's going to be, and then you meet. At a, a place, and we take you to the place. And he said, "But we can't get medium to do that." I said, "Well, I'll come. I'm fine with it." And I did. Mm. And we went to a place called Holsneed. It was a big old manor house. Holsneed is that in um, Wiston? No, right, no, okay. no. It's it was um, Lancaster or those areas. Right, right. I can't even remember now. Uh, but anyway, we went and. Uh, the family of the, the manor house was there, and it was just about to be sold. And uh, it, it, it's on the it's on their uh, YouTube channel actually. And um, yeah, I did the investigation. And he said to me that he, you know he was blown away with the investigation, how incredible it was. I reenacted a stabbing on a staircase, which is not is not brought out in the public. But in actual fact, the family confirmed it was absolutely completely accurate. Everything I right. did, and exactly the spot wow. and everything. So that was good. Right. Um, and then I, I, uh, I did another one in a crypt, which was very good as well. That that was all again uh, confirmed by the people who run the crypt. And then um, I did, I did one in Hay Hall actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, right, yeah. Uh, not the part where the public go. Yeah. There's two parts of it. That's right. that's, that's okay. very 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 creepy. Uh, I did one there, and again that was non-documented. Uh, but they had the Hay Hall historian and a friend of the family, and he confirmed all that to be accurate. That was good. Mm. And then I did. Uh, I've done crack. I've done a lot. Yeah. Uh, the, these are the ones what stick out to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I did uh, crack caverns, which was. Uh, close to home as well crazy credible very spooky and at the end of that we had the witch finder general matthew hopkins came through mm. and uh that was a that was a very very creepy time really ben filmed that that was quite creepy how how did matthew hopkins come because you know Crank cabins as we all know it's in the middle of nowhere mm. um obviously he must know the that, that area matthew it, hopkins, once upon so. a time um, I did a, de a demonstration, and he came through then. Um, and he was. We later found out that the hotel that was using he stayed there right. when he was uh, doing his witch hunting. Round, yeah, he went round. And uh, it was again. It was non documented, and I just asked, and they said, "Yeah, they 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 took me to where he'd stayed and everything." And, and I. And uh, he was quite, he was quite, quite nasty to me. But I say I'm not phased by it whatsoever. Uh, and um, he came, he came through again um, at Crank Caverns um, because, of course, we had some of the. I think there was one, one main witch who uh, came from Windle what we call Windle Island was the mm -hmm. big main crossroads there. Just down the road here. Yeah. yeah. Right. And he he was involved in her uh, prosecution as a witch. Right. And of course Crank Cavers is up the road at Crank, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, a lot went on. It was a very eerie night. Uh very spooky. Um we brought a lot through. It was it was it was really mm -hmm. Something really different, yeah. you know. That's one place we've never really done an investigation, is it, or anything like that? No. We're always a bit eerie because, weary because you know it's in the middle of nowhere. 
you get idiots turning yeah. up. Yeah, you know? no, there was nothing like that at all. Mm. Uh, I, it, it, to be quite honest with you, really, when we went, it became very active and then it became very stilled. And then, of course, uh, Matthew came through. Um, but I, I, I feel it's probably one of those sites, I think sometimes when you investigate something so much you can actually uh, sort of dry it up mm-hmm. yeah. uh, spiritually yeah. you know yeah. so really that's that's what happens there i think that's what's happened there it needs time to rest and you know? heal yes. yeah. but it's yeah. a very it's a very strange energy mm. it's it's i wouldn't i i uh it it would be very interesting to hold um, uh, a night vigil there uh, to see what would happen because it has uh, there's a few of the um, the the chambers in there which are very evil mm. where they hung people in the chambers I mm. didn't know that no. yeah I detected no. that. And uh, I actually went there with uh, James as well. We did some filming there as well. Um, But that never came to the fore. But but no, it was was very good. Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's the the kind of things I've done and um, and the demonstrations and stuff. But as I say, I mean, I'm just trying to think back how many years, but it's years and years and years Barry and I have... Have been and, and Andrea have all done mm. spiritual stuff, mm. and and really, uh, as I say, it does take many years to get to that yeah. kind of level, that yeah. level yeah. of doing that. You know, it's not something that happens overnight. No. It no. looks whilst whilst it looks good on a Facebook page or it looks good on uh, on a social media site, somebody doing a reading and etc. It that doesn't constitute a medium. No. no, a medium is not that. It no. isn't. It oh, really yeah. isn't. It's social media is so fantastic, and and people almost feel famous on it. Mm. But it's it doesn't constitute being a medium. A medium is about getting out there in the public and doing it in front of people, mm. and then what people can't, you know, what can't can't be uh, missed. Then you because yeah. you, you're in front of people, mm. you know. That constitutes it more, I, I believe, um, is the honest answer. Yeah. Yeah. And before you finish, anyway, there's a question I've got to ask: Is do you ever, when when you're out and about, and you, you I mean, obviously you go shopping and God knows what else. Do you ever Not recently. <laughs> well, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, COVID nineteen hasn't helped, does it? Um, do you ever walk past people? And go, oh God, I, I want to tell them, but you can't. Do you understand what I mean? If you uh, walk past me and went... And, and, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the answer is to that, in the main, no. Um, I believe that if somebody wants a message, if somebody wants a seat in, or if somebody wants to approach me and ask me something very approachable, mm-hmm. not stuck up my own backside mm-hmm. or anything, then they come to me, I don't go to them. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, because I feel that's the right way. However, I will say... Uh, Years and years ago, we were in Kendall's in in uh, Manchester. Me and my mother having lunch, and there was an old lady sat on her own. Uh, she was having lunch too, and uh, I just collected that she'd just lost a daughter, and the old lady was bringing up her three children, and uh, my mum just said, "You're connecting with somebody for her." This was before my mum had a dementia. And I said, "Yeah, I am." I said she's lost a daughter. She'd go and tell her. And I went, she just went, go and tell her. And and at that time, we'd had a, a very bad tragedy in our family. Um, we'd, we'd lost my sister-in-law only at 37. And uh, she said, we know how that feels. So I walked over to her and I told her. And she, to this day, all their family still come to me and uh, mm-hmm. connect mm-hmm. with them. But, but that case, I suppose, but as a professional the public approach me i don't approach the public mm. and it's the same really you know i don't i don't send the club boxes to you saying a text one pound fifty and that all that. it <laughs> yeah. just oh, does yeah. not happen yeah. Yeah. you know and it's just not something that i really 
have see a relevance in mm. to me if you are a relevant spirit medium regardless of what you view a spirit medium to be you should be able to give evidence you should be oh. able to take part in spiritual activity coming from a good place and also you should be mind expansive your mind should expand you know and 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 be interested in in discovering uh, what what the world has that is undiscovered and if you can be that person then that is really what a psychic and spirit medium and a paranormal investigator is that's my opinion that's yeah. absolutely brilliant yeah. david trainer and i'll go david trainer.com so people know your website <laughs> <laughs> no before you go i've got to say i was I've, I've been on your website many a time and you used to have a video of yourself walking on yeah it's and all that, getting changed that, that. i hated that. that oh no i didn't did you not i thought it was fantastic did you oh yeah. gosh i couldn't yeah. cope with it and and do you know what honestly uh, I used to go on there. I mean, uh, put a few pound on now with with, with uh, lockdown, <laughs> lockdown and everything. We all yeah. blame that. Yeah. I know. Um, uh, I think I'm 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 uh, wired up to cabaret's, but I'm, I'm going to say to you, uh, <laughs> you know, they are making changes with it all, mm. but bringing it up to date just because. Uh, to be quite, to be fair to to uh, Barry, who who is. Uh, the the guy the uh, and, and Andrew you know mm. we've been trying to invest in the public trying to do more lives and let somebody have so because not everybody's got a lot of money to spend and mm. let somebody have a go and you know and see and 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 give of interest and uh, and and that's what we've done and and you know and and that's that's why we've we've put all that on the back burner and just invest in the public for now and then mm. and then we'll you know we'll we'll make mm. it up you've, later. you've had to adjust with covid anyway like everybody else and everybody everybody but mm. uh no it's it's been fun times and uh mm. we've been doing the we've been doing the uh toy box have you seen that what's that no i've not I've we not. we i i bought some <laughs> uh ouija dolls Oh, it starts yeah, off with yeah. the twins, yeah. and then the Ouija board. Did you see that? Have no, you seen it? Have you not seen it? it? We've got to Toy go on box. It. We've got to watch this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we put the dolls out uh, in this tin, this toy box, which is uh, Edwardian, and some of the and and the the activity in my office has been like unbelievable. And then one night we had a guy called Fred. Uh, sorry, Francis walked through, not Fred. Fred was another one, and he walked through, and oh God, all uh, it just all, all went mad. The office, and oh, <laughs> and this was on Facebook. We do Facebook. We had about maybe three hundred people watching. I don't know. I can't remember, but uh, people were genuinely blown away, mm. and uh, it was it was fun. It was it was fun, and mm. I, yeah, I do want to do more investigations. Mm. I do I feel you know it's my interest level uh, because uh, you know like today coming in here it's 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 been something different well, why don't you yeah. come in? when we're, when we're doing a show we always do mini investigations for the you know for for the listeners come along on one of our mini investigations yeah. and join in we'd love you to come along for that yeah have a have a, have a nosy yeah i'd yeah. be interested in the seances i think of the uh the say and uh the 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 little room down there you know, yeah. be interested in bringing some yeah. Ouija all see what yeah. happens. Yeah. Feel free to bring whatever you want. We'd yeah, love you to they, come along. They, yeah, they would uh, be interesting. They're yeah. very mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll rec- we'll yeah. record yeah. it and put it out on the show, and we'll we'll film it for yourself. You know, so yeah. it, it's yeah. out there. Yeah. But David, your your family are going to be sitting outside. There are. They're and waiting it, for it. It's me. What will be killed for keeping <laughs> you? <here. laughs> well, if you're killed, we can still keep it. <laughs> <We talk>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't tell them now. Yeah. Uh, but Dave Trainer from um, davidtrainer.com. <laughs> and uh, the, really, really, genuinely, I've met you for the first time today. You have absolutely been fantastic. I've loved you being in the building. Yeah. And I'm sure Millie and Jonathan, uh, we've had a, uh, we thought it was going to be an hour, and it's been like four hours, five hours. <laughs> and it's been the best five hours yeah. I've had in a long time. Well, you, you're you welcome. Have been we've had brilliant. fun. I've loved every minute. <laughs> so, David Trainer, thank you so much for coming into Access Paranormal and giving us an interview. We've really appreciated it. You're welcome. Very and, welcome. And the video was fantastic as well. Thank you. Fabulous. 
What a brilliant interview that was with David Trainer. Um, we've got to say thank you for him to come, you know, uh, uh, coming out of his way and making the effort to actually turn up yeah. into the studio and do it. I know. And next week, we've got the, the, the walkabout we've done with David Trainer as well. Yeah. Um, that'll be in two parts. Yeah, I was going to say, it'll have to be split yeah, up a bit. Was, that, yeah, oh yeah, but it was brilliant and it's uh, well yeah. worth, you know, listening into that oh, as well. Yeah. But, um, Interesting how he, he got into the mediumship, um, and I know. The, the funniest part was right at the beginning, when he turned round and he went, my dad was an undertaker, and he used oh. to tell his dad the information. <laughs> he used to, to tell them his name, the, the, the yeah. names. Yeah. Oh my God, imagine. No. Um, that would have been, I mean, that's a bit surreal, that, isn't it, you know, to, uh, to have know that information that. and that. Creepy. Sorry, Lee, what was that? A bit creepy, that. It is, yeah. you know, but... It shows how long he's been into yeah. the into it, and fascinating. He, he he was brilliant. Yeah, and I loved his interview. I mean, yeah. I just sat back. I could have listened to him all night. He was that good. I know. Yeah, um, he sat yeah. where you are now, Jonathan, and mm-hmm. um, we were in awe of him, weren't we? We were just yeah. uh, he was brilliant, brilliant. I loved the interview, and we've got to say thank you to Marie. Yeah, because it was Marie who organised the 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 meet up yeah, with yeah. with David. Um, she organised, they contacted them and organised the, the interview and, and he came down didn't he? And we <laughs> we were outside waiting for him yeah. well, we, well, actually we were waiting for him but we popped outside didn't we and all of a sudden he, he, he turned up yeah. and it's like he'd known him for years I know, it was, mad, it was crazy yeah. it was yeah. just so friendly Yeah, yeah. and honestly felt, I feel like I've known him for years and I've only oh, known yeah. him what, three or four weeks I know Miles so it was, it was it was interesting. I've just heard the door shut. Yeah, I did as well. But um, it was like fantastic. Yeah, really enjoyed brilliant. it. Um, just such a lovely man. Though, I it? can't wait for him. Yeah, I can't wait for him to come back again. I know. Yeah. I mean, he really did come does. back. Uh, yeah. He, he came back one night, and we, we did a um, an evening with with him. Yeah. Um, you know, not not for the show or nothing like that. No. No. And it was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he brought his dolls. The the, the <sighs> I think there's also creepy dolls. Them. Oh, uh, just, uh, his um, toy box as he calls. Yeah, uh, his toy box and oh, the actual dolls. Yeah. Good. You know when you get that feeling that when you're walking around, there's the, the two twins, the, the two twins, twins, the twins, the evil twins. Yeah. You know when you're walking oh, near God, them, yeah. it's like they're staring at you. Wow. But it was good. Um, oh, very enthusiastic. Yeah. Again on the night. Yeah. There's me, Jonathan. James Anthony, David Trainer, and Barry. Barry. Yeah. And I really enjoyed yeah. that. We were here till about half past one in the morning, weren't we? Yeah. I thought yeah. we were only going to be here for about two hours, but like, <laughs> <laughs> it was that was enjoyable. We yeah. stayed. Yeah. And um, he went. I think he went live at one stage, didn't he? I think he did. I'm yeah. sure he did. Yeah. And he was hello, <laughs> really. And I yeah. thought, Do you know what? He, his energy is fantastic. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, if I had brilliant. half of his energy, I'd be able to yeah. run across England, no trouble. Yeah. Well, we saw that there'll be some videos going up on his page, won't there? Yeah, there'll be some on our page, and then David will be putting yeah. some up on his page. So yeah. you go and watch, you yeah, know. Keep an eye out. But not professional, so don't criticise, just enjoy. No. Well, that's <laughs> it. That's it. Yeah. It, was, um, it was an experience that I'll not forget. No. No. Um, Brilliant experience. But we were we being expected um, to be going round a building with him, maybe. We were just expecting. No. Him. To, to come and do the interview, we thought, oh, he's going to come and do yeah. an interview, that's really good. We thought, come, do the interview, yeah. and, and then he'd go. And it was like, what's going on? on? The tour of the building. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and then he, he, he starts doing his psychic art, and yeah. he's like, this, this here wow. and that. And it was like, and the, wow. the, the crystal, the, yeah, the, the dowsing and that. Yeah. But the funny thing was, is oh, yeah. I prepared him in my David Trainer true professional yeah. right the way through right what we're going to have to do um what we're going to have to do is i thought there's sort of movement out there what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to be straight we're going to have to be careful we're going to have to um yeah put bottle of water and we're going to have to look professional because we're we're amateurs really aren't we but yeah. we enjoy it we love well, it's being on here. Isn't it it's a and hobby isn't it the funny thing was though jonathan and then lee is we planned all this thinking he's going to come in like yeah. a professional yeah. do the interview and go yeah, yeah. still thought, busy man yeah two o'clock in yeah. an afternoon it's all right it's pre-recorded the show two o'clock yeah. in the afternoon we thought 
we'd be gone by three because he'll yeah. have done this interview and go <laughs> what time is it five hours we were here wow that's one thing five hours about, what? Yeah. Like, what was it nearly seven o'clock nearly seven o'clock yeah because <laughs> he came in and like he blew us away with the way he was like right okay so you're James you're Jonathan and blah 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 yeah. okay now I'm picking up this and I'm picking up yeah. this place is alive and, blah, blah, and apart from the pun but and he'd never been here before yeah, yeah. and he started wow. sitting yeah. so we showed him around and then once we'd showed him around we actually then done the, we'd, we'd said to him can we record this for the yeah. show and he went yeah 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 do whatever yeah. you want and everything yeah. else wow. honestly I thought two o'clock interview so and so so and so gone yeah and it wasn't it was two o'clock chat 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 interview chat 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 <laughs> tour of the building enthusiasm <laughs> arranged for him to come in another night yeah and then he went and honest to god then five hours went quick but it was the best oh, five yeah. hours I've yeah. had in a long time yeah. Never known anything like it. No, no. So, thanks very much, David yeah. Trainer. Yeah, thanks, and David. And please, everybody, go onto his website. Yeah. DavidTrainer.com. And uh, keep an eye out because he might be coming to a theatre near you. Yeah. And I, I'd definitely go. I'd love keep to go on. and watch one because I've never seen a medium live like Well, I have seen a medium live like that. Um, I've seen Colin Fry in the late Colin Fry. Oh, yeah. And yeah, he was yeah. great. I really yeah. enjoyed it. You know, that was in the uh, in Liverpool. Yeah. Um. So, you know, I'd like to see how, how David does it now. And I mean, do you get the hint, David? I'm interested, <laughs> interested to see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I can't wait to see him again, though. I know. Um, we'll be good. seeing him soon again because we've organised something, haven't we? Yeah. yeah so, okay. yeah. Um. So, that was David Trainer. Thanks very much, David. Tune yeah. in next week because next week you'll get the tour with him. But uh, going on to other subjects now. Yeah. And um, we started off with YouTube and everything else. Um, anybody done anything? I guess by the silence, nothing. <laughs> 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 well, I've noticed um, that. I've noticed <clears throat> in the press there's been quite a few uh, new photographs turning up of paranormal stuff. Oh, I don't know nice. whether you've seen the one what's flying around now where there was a fire in a building and somebody's face was uh, on the right hand side yeah um, i did see something about that well i've seen that uh, one but i can't get a I, I can't get the picture close enough to to say whether it's the smoke mm, you know is it pareidolia yeah. um whether it's just the smoke i don't know if you've seen the one for example is the the wave down south in cornwall one of the waves hit the wall Oh, yeah. And it looks, it looks like a face. You can see the face. You can see his hand. Oh, right. And all it is is the wave is hit, and this photographer, BBC photographer, um, captured it perfect at the right moment. Right. It's like clouds. As well, yeah. Though, isn't it? yeah. 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 Right. So like I like looking at photographs and and seeing if I can find a, a, to debunk it. Yeah. Obviously, I can't debunk everything. Well, yeah. Um, no, no one's perfect, are they? <laughs> but. Um, no. I've got a photograph from 1899. Right. I'll bring it in. Um, I can't put it online. I'm not allowed to do anything with it because I promised the lady who gave it to me. Yeah. Um, because I, when I say a lady, she is she is lady so and so. So I'm not allowed to put the picture up anywhere. Now. I did promise that. Let me just have a quick drink because my throat's drying right, up well, here, John. And keep yeah. talking. Well, I, I, <clears throat> I've got I've got a question. Mm -hmm. For you, Lee. Yeah. For you, Jamie. And for okay. all listeners. Yep. With you mentioning a photo from 18... 1899. Well, one of my lovely children. Which one? Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine? Ten. Ten. <laughs> You've got ten um, now. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. One of them asked me. Um, she found a picture of the first camera, right? Online. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So she asked me, "Who took the picture of the first camera? How was that photo taken?" Seriously. Seriously. It's on the internet. This. 
Who took the first Google photo of the first camera? So it was a picture of the very, very first camera. It was taken. It was taken mm-hmm. when it was first made. Who took the picture and what did they take away? That's that's a belter. And I'll leave you with that. That's like the chicken or the egg. Ah, maybe it was taken through a mirror. But how did they get the picture developed? But we're talking, what year are we talking? The 1800s, isn't it? 18, yeah. early 1800s. Yes. It could have been Come used, on. it could have been a timer in the mirror, because if you think about the cameras then, you Come had Jamie, to... a timer? No, it's not a timer. first time. camera. Yeah. Not a timer, as in, on the camera. Because there was no one use, by the camera. Yeah, but they used to use slate, didn't they? Like yeah. a, a thing, what the you know the opening, like what you used to draw on in school. They, yeah, yeah, they take the cap off. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they take. Hey, you know they take the cap off, don't they? And leave it for a few minutes, and then put the cap back on. You two are being mean. <laughs> <coughs> no, if you if you think about this, <laughs> they take the cap off the camera, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And then they leave it for whatever seconds it is, ten, fifteen seconds, and put the cap back on. Right. Okay. So all you need is a mirror, put the camera in the mirror, take the cap off, move away, come back, put the cap on, bingo. Problem solved. Okay. So anyway, back to the other one. I've solved that one now. Right? So you can go back to one of your ten kids and tell them I've done it for you. Oh. I'm, not con- I'm not convinced, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good answer, though. It's a good answer. Uh, it's a good question, though, isn't yeah. it? You should know you were around when them cameras were there. But, um, going back to the 18, 19, 1899 photograph I've got. Yeah, um, when you were 60, yeah. Yeah, people have seen it. And it's actually, it's a picture of you. <laughs> and um, <laughs> <laughs> People have seen it. I've, I've showed them the picture. And yeah. every single one of them said, can we have copies of that? Even well-known people. All oh, right, okay. Um, someone wanted it who was well known, and I couldn't give it to him. I did promise the lady yeah. that I wouldn't give it away and I wouldn't use it for anything yeah. apart from just showing pi- people the picture, but I would never give it away to anyone. Yeah. Um, when I first got it, when she first gave it to me, this lady, it was only about two inches by about four inches. You know, them little plates they used to have with the, with the pictures on them. Like little oh, tiny, yeah. right? Yeah, years ago, like like the old Polaroids, but they're only like so yeah, so I big. Know, yeah. That's how big it was, right? And she asked me, and um, we were doing a thing on the history, and um, she asked me, could I get these blown up? These pictures she had, so I took them, blew them all up for, I got them all digitized, and gave them back. Mm-hmm. And she said to me, you can have a copy of them as long as you don't do nothing with them, which yeah. you know I respect that, and I always have done, and. I remember seeing this picture and I went to her, have you seen this? No. And she looked at it and she went, oh, please don't use that picture for anything. And I said, okay, then I, I won't. Now, the picture was a child sitting on the grass yeah. and what looked like a monk going past them, but the monk was faded into the picture like a ghost. And there was one to the left of him, right next to him, as if it was next to him, and another one to the right slightly. And she said, please don't give anybody this, don't say where the picture was taken or anything like that. I didn't know nothing about this place. I knew a little bit, but I didn't know oh. enough. And I said, well, it looks like a monk, doesn't it? And she went, well, yeah, where it was, where the picture was taken, the monks used to go across there. Oh. Now, if you think that picture was eighteen ninety nine, and it was, I'd say, two to three inches by about two inches, in, you know, that's how big the picture was. Yeah. And it was only because yeah. I I scanned it and made it to an A four size that it, it came to light. Oh and I, like I said, I've shown it to people, and people have gone to me. We'd love a copy of that because of the age of it. Oh and um, I can't. I can't. I can't give it out. I can't even put it on. Um, I can't even put it on our Facebook page or anything yeah. like that. Um, with respect. I mean, yeah. obviously, the the lady may have passed now, because it was what I'd say about ten, twelve years ago now. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I still I promised her, and I'll never ever, yeah, you know, yeah. um, yeah. publicise it anywhere. But um, I will 
bring it in and show you the picture yeah, and then you, you can understand yeah. where I'm coming from with it. But when you think about that photograph, it's 1899. It's a long, long time ago. No photoshopping then, Jamie. Definitely no photoshopping then. And even when I showed her the picture when I'd done it, like she was, she was surprised herself. Yeah. But the reason why she wouldn't let me is it because the the person who's in the picture is a well known person. No oh, right, it's okay. <clears throat> it's it's a relation of hers. Yeah. But he's very well known as a name, you know. Right. right. So um, I agreed not to not to share it. Yeah. But it's a fantastic piece. But people out there, mark my word, the picture, the photograph is absolutely brilliant. Gosh, can't wait to see that. Yeah. You think like oh no you'll have to remind me to bring it in because you know what my brain's yeah. like well, yeah, we know, yeah. yeah sif comes to mind doesn't it? yeah so yeah i mean if anybody's got any photographs out there oh yeah and you want to share them with us please let us yeah. know and jonathan i'm going to let you yeah read out uh, the back part there and i'll read out the phone number yeah, that yeah, you can ring us on yeah um, so if you've got any drink. photos any stories anything you want to share with us and you can email us on info.accessparanormal at gmail.com. Or you can also send us a message on our Facebook page and on Instagram on Access Paranormal Radio Podcast. And I'm not going to read the phone number out. Lee Arnold's going to okay. read the phone number out. So, Lee, what, they, they can now contact us and... Yeah. and Leave their stories on an answering machine on the phone number which I'm pointing to for you. Yeah, it is 07 828 So yeah, please, please, if you've got any stories, let us know. And strangely enough, Jonathan, mm. I had a story sent to me hey. from Sue Jackson over in Bolton there. Yeah. And I read it to you, didn't I? And it's an interesting yeah. one, isn't it? It is. Now, do you want to read it, or would you rather me read it? Do you want me to read it? Yeah, go on. So, there it is. Uh, you might stumble a little bit, because it needs a little bit of reword in the places. But uh, thanks for, to um, for Sue for sending it in. So, yeah, John, go okay. ahead. Right, okay. So, here goes. And thanks to Sue Jackson for this. And she says, Here's an experience that my girls and I had. So it was back in February 2019. And my, my younger two girls were in the back bedroom. They heard shots, which was actually fireworks. Anyway, my second daughter took her iPad to record the possibility of what, what, of what was banging. I looked through the new camera video on the iPad and she scanned the entire back garden. She then stopped and showed my youngest daughter. They came racing down the stairs to share with me what they had captured. We have a standard sized back garden with a small holly and bushes to the left. And there's a washing line etc. But what you don't usually see and record is a dark black shadow figure standing at the top left of your garden not only seeing this male outline shadow figure but the shadow suddenly zoomed off screen with such speed my jaw dropped we spent the next hour or more trying to debunk it and recreate it but you just can't not recreate the size and the speed my daughter had a recording, yet sadly had to return it to the school as she was leaving, and we've not seen it since. The shadow figure will stay in our memories. The strange part is, only a few hundred yards away is a very old large mill with houses facing it. And a lake by the name of Doe Hay Playing Fields. So, if anyone has got any other information on the Doe Hay Playing Fields and the mill, then please let us know. 
Yeah. And then we can pass that information on to Sue. Yeah. I mean, we've read that a couple of times, haven't we? And yeah. To be honest with you, uh, I think I would have been gone in no time if I'd have saw that <laughs> shadow in my back garden. Uh -huh. I'd have been asking for a new house. I know. Me too. But isn't again, it it's shadows again. Shadow people. But isn't it funny? It mentions in that story about the speed of the shadow. Yeah. Yeah. She said it went so fast it was it was gone. Yeah. It's but funny. what what I liked about the story as well is they tried to recreate it, they tried to debunk yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Aren't, aren't I remember contacting the saying to Sue, uh, have you got the video? Oh no. And she went just shame. No, uh, um my daughter took it back to school because yeah. it was a school iPad. Yeah. So if that school has found that picture, <laughs> please yeah. contact us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see it. I'd love to see that video. I know, yeah. And if anybody else has got any videos out there they want us to have a look at, give us a shout. We'd love to see them and we'll talk about yeah, them as well. Definitely. And stories. Yeah. We'd love to have stories because that, that's one thing I'm, we're, we're wanting. Yeah, that's it. Um, you can also, we, we've also got another Facebook page called Haunted Mysteries. Mm -hmm. And if you go along and, and, and join that one as well, um, it's connected to Access Paranormal Radio Podcast. So yeah. you leave a story on there if you want to and we'll look at it and we'll read it out or yeah. like we said before um if they want to give us a call they can do and leave it, leave it there and we'll we'll if they want to talk and read the story to us or tell us a story we'll put the we'll edit it and put the story in they can yeah. tell a story for them yeah, yeah. Right. so yeah it's been i'll tell you what though where's the time gone we're coming to the end of the show would you believe wow. that? No. Yeah. So all I've got to do is, Sue, thanks for that story. We really appreciate it. And I've also got to say now to Lee, thanks for coming in, Lee. Oh, really appreciate you. it as well. And Jonathan, also to you, thanks for it. What a great night. Know, and yeah. we've also got to say to David Trainer, thank you so much for your interview. Yeah, yeah, so we'll be back again next week. So until then, stay safe and tune in next week. We'll see you then. Good night. <laughs>